Hi, I'm Susan. You're watching Billboard. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Susan. You're watching Billboard. Open your heart up. Open the never find out that you anyone else. Cause I love you. This is like my 11th birthday party. And I received like a Bath and Body Works set. And I was really, really hyped because I felt like. You know, cool girls smell nice. And like my sister really smelled nice all the time and I wanted to attempt to join her. But I don't know, it's just like a grown ass gift for a little girl, like what? Why'd you buy me shower gel as a child? But either way, I'm grateful that I'm clean and this was free. But these glasses are iconic. When I lost them, it was devastating. I love this necklace, this is a choker. From Jamaica, actually, from the year before that I got on my 10th birthday. Ta-da! <laughs> Lol. Um, this is my mother um, telling me to be happy. <laughs> she does every day. My granny made this dress for Easter originally, and then I think I wore it to a dance. We might even be at church right here. I don't know. But I know that my mother is very, she's holding both my hands and she's reminding me to smile. Oh, law, this is literally, um, my dad, whenever he would do my hair, he would like barely touch it. He would just be like, like just the tiniest of brushing and it would barely be together. This is one of his buns. So, and they're, they were notoriously always on the very top of my head. I think this is like my little first preschool picture. I didn't smile in a lot of my pictures when I was super little. I asked my mom why, she said I was born serious. So, I guess this is serious McGee. But my shirt is full of whimsy and I think that is more important. Yay, bye me. My forehead is massive. Okay, bye. <laughs> I have no recollection of this photo or this moment. Literally none. I have no idea where we're going. I don't know where we're coming from. I don't know why we're all matching. My mom was a speech pathologist, so she did a lot of reading and talking to me. Like, literally all day. So as I can see, this is one of them damn books. I'm sure she's breaking something down to me. I don't know, my parents, this looks like a holiday energy. Like maybe we were going somewhere for Christmas or like, I have no idea where we're going. I don't remember where this is. We look like we in first class. Um, okay. <laughs> Yay, these are my uncles, Uncle Hamza and Uncle Ali. We were in my backyard and we were making salat and my dad used to make salat in the backyard with all of us and then when they would come down from Virginia, we would all make salat together and they were just the coolest, most like funniest people I ever knew. Like they were just so cool and Uncle Hamza I literally thought was like a giant. Like his hands, if you can see, are the sides of my head. And I just thought it was so cool because he was so big and like always laughing and like chuckling and just being like gentle. And these were really, really great people. They shaped, they shaped me a lot. And I'm very grateful. One of my favorite days of all time. If I could give my younger self any advice, it would probably be to trust yourself or not try so hard to fit in because it made it so painful. I was so different that I think trying to fit in at all was so obviously painful for me and for like other people who caught secondhand embarrassment, like trying to like watch me assimilate, but like really just every part, I was definitely just designed to, I don't know, experience life the way I was supposed to experience it. And I think I've fought that for a long time.